coming up on Tech Talk, I'm going to do a little mini review on the brand new 19 Ford Ranger. Okay, before we get into the video, full disclosure, I am in the car business, hence the MJL car guy. Uh, I do work for a Ford dealer, that's why I had access to the Ranger. Now, we got our first couple of Rangers in about three weeks ago. I took a test ride in one. I took it for a demonstration ride and loved it, fell in love with it, and I ordered one. And the reason I ordered one is I'm retiring in six months, and me and my wife are going to travel, so we... Uh, Need something to tow a camper, and it, with the tow package, it will tow up to 7,500 pounds. So I'm going to try to keep the camper in the five, six thousand range. I'm just going to do a little overview of the vehicle, and uh, hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching. The 2019 Ranger has only been out for a few weeks, and the one that I'm going to be reviewing is the Lariat with an FX4 with Sport package and trailer tow. It has an MSRP of $44,595. Let's take a look at the interior of the vehicle. Everything is nice and smooth and well appointed. It features the 8 inch touch screen that has all your controls right at your fingertips is very nice. So let's see how easy it is to sync a phone. I'm going to do it on my iPhone. First you go to phone on the screen. Add a phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Go to Bluetooth on your phone. Ford Ranger pops up. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on the device. Yes. Allow. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions. That's how easy it is to sync a phone. Activated features while your vehicle is in motion. When you first enter the vehicle, you'll notice that the uh, power seat controls lumbar control is right here power seat is right next to it here two drink holders that are then are self adjustable good size console very deep And right there by the gear shift is your is your terrain management system, your four wheel, two wheel, low and high. And you have two 12 volt power points in the front, along with two smart charging USB ports right there in the front for your phones. Smart chargers is it'll sense to your phone if it's 50% or less will charge it faster. Nice feature. First thing that I noticed was that it has a little bit of a stiffer ride. And of course this is because it does have the FX4 package which has uh, tuned off-road suspension with FX branded shocks. It's not overly stiff, but you definitely can feel a, bit, a little bit of a stiffness in the ride. But it handles really, really good. I didn't get a chance to take it off-road yet. It was too muddy. Under the hood, you have a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine at 270 horsepower, 310 pounds of torque, paired to a 10-speed transmission, same transmission they're putting in the F-Series, which is really good for power and fuel economy.
Now as we step in the back of the Ranger, you'll see with the trailer tow it comes with all your trailer connections. And it also has a locking spare tire, like on the F-Series. And of course your trailer receiver. And as we open up the bed, you'll see some pretty nice tie downs they have in there. And one thing of note, if you want a six foot bed, you have to go to a super cab or extended cab. This is his crew cab in the video here. And it only has a five foot bed. And of course, got the camera back here with the Ford emblem. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. and. Hope it helps if you're interested in a Ranger. Keep something in mind this year. They're probably gonna be very scarce. You won't see a lot of them. You won't see a lot of them at the dealer's lots because it being a new product. But um, there should be plenty in 2020. And I will be doing a more extensive review uh, when I get mine in a month or so. But again, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you next time.